Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeeries.com tonight from Parish Brewing Company. This is their Ghost in the Machine. This is one of the really most intricate labels I've seen in a long time. It's got that skeleton head up there. Uh, the hops are blasting out of the side of it. It's really, really cool. The more you look at it, the more detail you can see. Um, this is a brewery that I have never done a review from in the past. They are out of Louisiana, and Ghost Machine, according to the website, seems to be one of their flagship beers. So it's Ghost in the Machine. It's a juicy double IPA. Uh, ABVs are 8.5%. Uh, the main hops are Citra. It's considered a dank, hazy, hoppy, juicy, tropical IPA and it's available year round. Um, it comes in a four pack. Where I live on the East Coast, uh, we don't have it. So this was gifted me, to, gifted to me by a friend. You know who you are. I appreciate you very much. And again, this is one of those where I'm not a huge fan of the hazy, so I'm gonna pour this real slow. And I also am off site. As you can see, and this is not a traditional uh, glass, but I'm using my resources. So it looks very uh, classic, hazy IPA. It's got a nice kind of orangish color to it, a little bit of yellow, thin, frothy head on it, small bubbles, decent carbonation coming off of it. Uh, so it talks about, it says, welcome to the future, hence in the machine, our collective human consciousness or ghost in the machine. Uh, gained a tolerance for hops beyond what mankind has ever known before. Uh, so it says, we brewed this uh, obscene quantities of hand-selected citra hops from our favorite farm in Yakima Valley, Washington. Pungent flavors of grapefruit aroma, pungent, well it says pungent aromas of grapefruit and flavors, that was a tongue twister, tropical fruits, and a less uh, harsh bitterness than most IPAs. So, again, if you've watched any of my other videos, I'm not a huge fan of the IPA uh, market, uh, hazy IPA market rather, but I understand where they're at. People are kind of testing the waters and, you know, it's, uh, it's exploded. The breweries have exploded with these. So, this one, pretty interesting actually. Um, you can tell it's a, a single hop beer. There's definitely some, it, there's a weird maltness to the background that I can't pinpoint at all. Breadiness. And that's it. There's not a lot of, of fruitiness or floralness to it. Floralness to it. I'm not very impressed with the aroma, but cheers, let's get in the glass. Wow, that's different. That is really different. There's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's hard to describe. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a hot malt character that blends together that gives you a, um, oh man, it's hard. It's almost like a muffin. It's got this weird, uh, uh, bread, I'll, I'll use the same term, breadiness. Uh, it's, it's, it's got a pretty big mouth feel to it. Um, you can tell again, it's not like super complex in the brewing process. Single hop. Oh man, that's just okay. Now, in fairness, this, this beer is almost six months old, I believe. So it's not super fresh. It's so hard to pinpoint the flavor. It's not fruity. It's not florally in, in terms of its, its profile, but... Oh man, I'm struggling. I really wanted to like this one. Um, I would, everybody's doing one of five. I did this like a three. I'd drink it again. I think on draft, really fresh, cold. This would be awesome with a meal. But it doesn't really have that that excitement factor to that that punch, that, that bing, that boom, that, mm, that I was really hoping for. So and if you've tried this before, Ghost in the Machine, really liked it. Leave comments down below. Tell me I'm crazy. Tell me 
buy it again, find it again. Um, this is not uh, the, the banger I was hoping for. So um, I'd really appreciate some feedback down below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Um, we upload all the time. See you again real soon. Cheers.